Hello you, this is Dr. Rana and today I am going to give you a next lecture on the COMSOL series uh, in which I am now discussing the piezoelectric material module in which you can uh, just learn how you can uh, use this as an energy harvester. So firstly if I go for this uh, COMSOL module you can see that the topic is piezoelectric biomorphic harvester, the basic model I am going to discuss. Uh, if you wish to learn what is a biomorphic, it's a simple definition, the cantilever used for the actuation or sensing which consists of two active layers. So unimorphin and biomorphin are two different things. So I am working on the biomorphic. If you are uh, interested to unimorphic, you can try this uh, module uh, as per your application. So I quickly go for the uh, console module. So firstly, I have to uh, give the basic definitions because now you are familiar with the console and you know how to save and construct the uh, images, uh, even your the model, how you can construct it. The parameter of the definitions, global definitions are this ACC is used for the acceleration which is given as the value 1, the distance load, R load is given as 12 kilo ohm and uh, W underscore plate is given for the out of plate dimension out of plane dimensions for uh, which is equal to 14 mm so everything is in the mm scale i am taking into consideration so when uh, go for the definition in which first definitions uh, i have to use is for the integration you know that this is a basic command so i use mostly integration is in top one integration one operator and basic method is integration is used in terms of spatial coordinate for, for every domain so this is actually domain dependent so to have this domain first you actually go for the geometry so to wish to construct the geometry you can uh, write this uh, three different rectangles are been constructed the dimensions is given here so these three dimensions are been constructed here so union is been uh, used to join the two this r1 this first rectangle and this r2 this uh, thin rectangle and the later it will be uh, considered as uh, later on when you are constructing considering the solid mechanic domain so i'll go for the next thing in which the two type of material is being used first is lead zirconate titanate so this is actually the piezoelectric that 5a material and another thing is used is a is a basic is for the structural steel so these two properties are been uh, used uh, in this module and you can see that for this uh, there is a construction been for rectangular 4 is been used and another things this is the curve will be used the basal polygon curve which I have already been discussed in my earlier videos. So you must be uh, clear first that which material you wish to use. So this is uh, the lead zirconate the basic definition is here. You can see that the basic relative permitted density is given here and this thing is strain charge form and the strain charge form of different forms stress or strain has been uh, represented here. So this is for the steel this and for the steel the basic things are being used the parameters the lamps parameters Young's models everything is built in here in the console. So when I start with the first solid mechanics domain, the physics is uh, the linear elastic properties is generally been used. When the linear plastic property is considered, you can this is the basic uh, definition is the frequency response domain will. Uh, you can see the equation is this. The model input you if you wish to check the coordinate and other things it should be mentioned here. So everything you can uh, use from material and uh, Young's model presentations you can use the simple. Uh, things directly so you can uh, use the from material uh, command and uh, you can see that here the one three six when you zoom it I can show you that this is actually the biomorphic so you can see that there is a three layers are presented the top this top two uh, bottom and top layer is called the piezoelectric material and the center one is for the steel and uh, one more thing and these two things is also made up of steel so if you wish to check it this is the best thing when you click on it you can see that which one is uh, actually for the steel you can see that these two components are for the lead zirconate titanate piezoelectric material and another if you click on this you can check the one yeah 
rather this thing and this thing another and even the the base which is actually at the center is just made up of steel so this is the made up of steel so this is uh, for the linear elastic property when i go back yeah this is for the linear elastic property and uh, free you can use this 1 3 5 7 this all as as a free this is will be default will be taken and this everything is selected as a free initial the value is uh, because the time dependent domain all uh, is always been considered so everything is considered as a zero zero with a zero zero displacement as zero structure velocity so next is the piezoelectric material so when we're talking about the piezoelectric material you know that which one is piezoelectric so you have in the in the solid mechanics domain you have to mention the piezoelectric part so both thing is considered as a piezoelectric and this is the equation for the piezoelectric material so rest is you have to write zero zero or from material so body loads so body loads is you can consider by default everything you can given as your own body load fixed constraints so fixed constraint is is only your, your main base where you don't want to move it so base is only the one is this lower portion so make this as a fixed constraint so this is all about the solid mechanics module and you will go for the electrostatic when you go for the electrostatic module you can see that first is charge conservation is there you can uh, see that the charge conservation which is applicable is only on two four i basically the piezoelectric part when talking about this you can just go and zoom it yeah piezoelectric there is actually now the six species of piezoelectric everything you can give the charge conservation mode and a zero charge uh, is the basically dimension used for this is actually for the another when you go for the three seven this is and it's not applicable for other things so these are all things you can give the first total there's so many pieces of this so you can make some as a zero charge so initial values if you wish to this so initial value is again given to the uh, piezoelectric you can give the uh, voltage zero so charge conservation is again given to the same the piezoelectric materials so you can just give this value as a piezoelectric one so ground is basically given to the the steel uh, the piezoelectric uh, the outer portions like if we go for this so upper and the lower is treated as a ground you just see it yeah this one is treated as a ground total six pieces is there so you just left only one piece this one is when you see this upper portion is only ground portion is the upper portion is not there because it is covered by this weight of the steel so next is the terminal so terminal is basically the uh, value is presented in between the steel and uh, your piezoelectric material when you're talking about this you can just see zoom it yeah this is the interconnected portion of this this one is piezoelectric this one is steel and this one also again are piezoelectric this this both is called the terminals so this is all about uh, electrostatic uh, domain in which the module is been uh, considered you go for the electric circuit module Electric circuit is basically the ground node you just wish to this uh, mention and the resistor the value is given is p1 n0 this is p and n and r load value which is only been uh, considered in this parametric what is r load the value is taken as this so you have to write r load here and the uh, extra in performed so multi physics is used as a piezoelectric effect so obviously piezoelectric use two different types of uh, modules one is solid mechanics and second is electrostatics so meshing is is the same you can use the default meshes or even you can change the meshes as a free triangular mesh you can use it's up to you to make the system more easy to use you can use any type of meshes so details are present here in the mesh section you can use any mesh of your this so now the frequency responses are there because your domain is now uh, solving the frequency domain so you are working on the frequency domain so you have to write the frequency domain so 60 up to this range is been considered and uh, this is your main variable for different frequencies and units is in hertz so solution 
uh, is been computed. So load dependency, if you see that the load dependency frequency domain, so it's again it's 75.5 hertz is been uh, is used. So now we are going to see the results after the computation. Then you compute it. So you see the results. So solution is been uh, is in the scale. This solution one is been calculated when you see the surface surface so this type of fluctuation is been uh, is been seen and for the electric potential so electric potential is generated at 0 0.03 this is the difference of voltage is available and for more particular when you see the voltage power responses of the frequency so this type of uh, the graph is been shown so it's is the hertz is between voltage mechanical power and electric power has been plotted uh, with the frequency so last one is, uh, is been used when you see the player so different frame is frames are being used you can see the fluctuation so this is actually the movement of this cantilever and with this the voltage is being generated so different frames are being uh, stored and this is been plotted different frames are being shown so yeah so this is actually the fluctuations the frequency with the frequency so this is all about uh, of discussing the energy harvesting using piezoelectric biomorphic material so have a nice day thank you thank you very much